you get that little warm feeling in your heart that you're really making a difference for them. There was a time when Jack Frost nipping at your nose was a pleasant thought, but thanks to record temps, it isn't anymore. But while most of us have our warm houses to go to at night, others don't. And it's why some in the community are getting involved. We've been participating in the homeless shelter program, both through the Salvation Army, the Caring House, and now with Child and uh, Family Services of the UP. So we've been doing that now, I think it's three or four years. John Gaudet owns and operates the Woodlands Motel, where he partners with Child and Family Services in Iron Mountain to provide motel accommodations for those in need. When we set them up at the motel, the hope is that we're going to find them a place to go into afterwards. If they find something that qualifies, because we have a lot of criteria we have to go through, uh, a qualified apartment, then we can do first month's rent as security deposit and up to three months rent uh, if it's required. Child and Family Services, known in Iron Mountain as the Housing Assessment and Resources Agency, or HARA, provides a motel voucher through a grant, a program that could be life-saving in this weather. Now, the cold weather we're experiencing is particularly dangerous because if you've got exposed skin like my hand here, in anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, that skin can start to freeze. Applicants for the voucher do not need to show any form of income guideline proof, but the agency does ask that the recipient be in genuine need of shelter. Because it's kind of a last resort for us, you know, because this goes all over the UP, so we try to spread out the funding as much as we can. We enjoy the aspect of being able to give back to the community. We've been in town here now over 30 years, and we've always tried to have a charitable component of our business, just like we do with our personal lives. In Iron Mountain, Abby Miller, TV6 News.